Blundstone Arena, well, uh, West Coast, have they uh, come to play in recent weeks under a new coach? So they got it done by five points. Curtis for North Melbourne, a kick three. Sheezer went forward, kick two, and Powell. And then McKercha, 37 disposals. 37 for the Tassie boy. Sheezel, 31 Tassie boy. as well. And Oscar Allen kicked the winner as well. Uh, five goals, Cripps three and Yo two. But uh, McGovern, 25 as well. But this was one that could have gone either way at three-quarter time. But when you look at it right now, they're playing a pretty exciting brand of footy. Here's the match winner from Oscar Allen. A little just over the top of the head there. He kicked five. Now, he's he's been sore in this by the Eagles this year. Um, and Jake Waterman's obviously stepped up there. You can see what it means to the West Coast uh, <laughs> coaching staff and players there. <laughs> to get down to Blunston and have a win. <laughs> and then you can see what it means for <laughs> the North. Flat. flat. Well, they'd be very uh, they flat. They would be flat. They should have won that. I think there was two minutes 20 on the clock to go and they were three goals up. Yeah. Well, so that, that was good by Eagles. That scenario. Maybe I don't think... They've been in that scenario a few times this year, haven't they? They've had a couple. They had the one against the Pies. Remember when they were up by about 50-odd points earlier this year? 51 yeah. yeah. I know they uh, Just quickly on the West Coast coaching job. Yeah. He wins the next two. Um, I don't think it's a given that if you win four in a row, so he finishes off with the four, I think you need to still be open to the idea of still getting the best person. I know that he gets a head start in regards to being given this opportunity, but I'd still like to see the candidates and be completely open-minded and factual about the future. We're, we're past that, I think, this, the incumbent yeah. coming in, because I think there's been that's happened. And everyone gets caught up in the um, the Hollywood story of it and the yep. fairy tale story and think, oh, that that's going to be good. But yeah. clubs are smarter than that now. They'll go through their due process and make sure they get the right person. But by saying that, what a great way to prove, hey, I'm not a bad coach. Here's my yeah. evidence before you, which yeah. some of the other coaches don't have. So if you can use it to your advantage, absolutely take it. Goes well beyond a presentation, doesn't it? Jeez, he smoked that presentation. <laughs> yeah. He's actually doing it, yeah. putting it in play. Nick, yep. would you consider coaching? I know you coach the women in St Kilda. Would you consider coaching the men? Oh, Ed, oh, I love it. Jeez, Ed. I'm Zeke's here. No, <laughs> no, no, no. I, I don't want to do so that. So you wouldn't thank take you. a call. <laughs> you wouldn't take a call. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> no, thank you. What about you, Ed? No, no. no. All right, no. let's go.